In today's video, I'm gonna try and win the treble with Man City, but there's a twist. For every game I lose, I'm gonna have to terminate a random first team player's contract. Imagine we lose a Carabao Cup game and have to terminate Holland's contract. I will actually cry. But if there's one team in the world that can pull off this incredible challenge, it's Man City. They just won the treble in real life, but now to complete this challenge and win the treble, we're gonna probably have to go unbeaten. Uh. Are you actually kidding me? First game itself, and we've taken an L. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I've put the Man City starting 11 on this wheel and let's see who's the first player whose contract we're gonna have to terminate. Just please don't be Holland. It's it's too early for that. Nathan RK. Okay, that, that, that isn't too bad. Man, we got really lucky that it was RK that popped up and not someone like De Bruyne. The more games we end up losing, the bigger risk of having Holland or even De Bruyne's contract terminated. One thing we are allowed to do in this challenge is sign players during the transfer window, but we can only sign players based on our budget and Thankfully, we're Man City. We've got the funds 250 million this season to spend. The thing is, though, we can only sign players in the transfer window. So when we start losing games, say in October, November, we really won't be able to improve our squad then. Okay, so the plan basically is to have more positions covered with squad depth. Just in case we end up losing, we've got backup options available. Firstly, we need to sign a left back to replace Nathan Ake. And well, Man City need a good left back regardless. First signing we're making is Mark Cucurella for 30 million. I'm super confused whether we should be signing super high rated players, but at the same time, what if we have to release them from their contracts? So I'm kind of going a bit, you know, reserved with my signings, but not going crazy. Cucurella is a good pickup. Just looking where else we can need improvements. I mean, I think we should definitely sign a better backup keeper, because what if we have to release Edison from his contract? We're completely doomed then, because I don't think we're winning the treble with Ortega in goal. Call me crazy, but I think this is a tactical masterclass. Manuel Neuer won't really cost us much. And for a season, he'll be a great backup option in case we have to release Edison. Look at that. He's got a release clause of 3.8 million. We're getting him. Guys, we're literally in full damage control. I've just signed Manuel Neuer for like 3.8 million. That is wild. With Neuer coming in, I think I'm definitely a lot calmer about our backline. In case we have to release someone, I think we've got good squad depth. John Stones is awesome. Akanji as well. Midfield as well, I think we've got solid cover with the likes of Calvin Phillips and Bernardo Silva. Bernardo probably should be starting over Gundogan. How is Gundogan only 85 rated? But oh well. I think what we need is maybe a better right winger than Mares. That might actually end up helping us win games. Okay, I think I'm gonna make my biggest transfer yet and it's gonna really deplete our transfer budget but I'm betting heavy on Bukayo Saka. Oh my god, we make this signing? We're gonna really struggle to make more improvements. I mean, now we've got still about 100 million left but... I'll probably keep that for January to see where we are. But for now, 100 million for Saka seems good enough. With the signing of Saka, I think I've done my best job of filling all the gaps in case we have to release players when we do lose games. Hopefully, we'll be fine. Unless we end up going on a losing streak and lose like four to five games in a row. Hopefully, that won't happen. I wouldn't be so sure. All right, guys, we're kicking off the Premier League season. Please, let's not lose a game at the start. There you go. A win against Everton. Needed that. Leeds, we get the job done as well so far perfect start in the premier league can we keep that up against wolves we can transfer window done we've won all our games so far we don't have to release anyone this is where the pressure builds up because if we lose a game there's no opportunities for the next four months to bring in a replacement oh no we've got chelsea in the premier league next these are the kind of games where we could end up losing i'll honestly take a draw but we do end up winning told you this man city team is good moving on now to the champions league thankfully we don't have any of the big clubs in our group. That should make things easier. But yes, Sevilla can still cause us problems. Thankfully not, we managed to win that. Yo, we even beat Liverpool 2-0. So far, things are going well. Borussia Dortmund away though is kind of a tricky one. So let's see what happens here. Can we end up beating them as well? No! I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling we'd end up losing this. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to release a player. Spinning the wheel to see which player we're gonna have to release. We kind of survived the first one. 
but this one could be Grealish or Haaland. Two really good players, but I think it's going to be Jack Grealish. Ah, this is bad. But hey, it could have been a lot worse. We'll release Jack Grealish. The good thing is, we've got Phil Foden who can slot in perfectly in that position. But yeah, if we start losing more games and losing more wingers, I think we're going to be in trouble. Thankfully, we managed to get through the next few games without taking an L. But now we've got the Manchester Derby. And this is a kind of game where anything goes. Come on, let's not lose this. I'm in no mood to release any more of my players. I can't believe it. Another big game and we've bottled it. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Manchester United, no! Who's gonna get kicked out this time? Please just don't be Holland. I'll be happy if it's anyone else apart from Holland. Okay, maybe not. I'm not gonna be happy. Phil Foden, not him. I just said if more of our wingers are gonna be forced to get released, we're gonna be in deep trouble. Goodbye, Phil Foden, my sweet prince. He's been released from his contract. Guys, we're literally gonna have to play either Julian Alvarez on left wing, or I think the best thing to do is have Saka play there. That's the only way I think we'll survive this. If we can somehow get until January without losing a game, that'll be an absolute dub. Come on, we need to beat Spurs or at least get a draw. We get a win. That's brilliant. But this Arsenal game has me worried and thankfully we end up winning it. Let's hopefully not lose another game in the month of December. Things are going well. Wins against Villa and Brighton. Wins against Southampton in the cup as well. Leicester too. And we beat Southampton. Halfway through the season and honestly not bad at all. We haven't been forced to release too many players. And we're still on for the treble. I mean, we've just crushed the competition in the Premier League. But it could all change. All it takes is us losing one or two games here and there, being forced to release a keeper or something, and we'll be mudded. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. But we can definitely be a bit positive as we're in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, and we've made it to the round of 16 of the Champions League. By the way, if you think we can win the treble with Man City in spite of terminating all these contracts, I need you all to drop a like in the video and subscribe as well. We're now in January, and this is going to be the last time Time we can improve our team before we begin at the quest to win the treble where we've got all the big games coming all at once. And since we had to get rid of both Borden and Grealish, I think we need a new left winger. And I don't see a better player than Neymar. Remember, the signings we make, they need to help us win games. That's the best way to avoid terminating players' contracts. But if my math is correct, Neymar would be the last signing we can make. So we're banking a lot on him. Let's see if we can sign him from PSG. 90 million and it is possible. With that, we've secured the signing of Neymar. That's how you replace the likes of Foden and Jack Grealish. But is Neymar going to be enough for us to win the treble? With Neymar coming in, we've done what we can to fill the gaps in our team. It's now the team's job to avoid losing. And if we do that, I reckon we can win the treble. And we're starting things off with the Carabao Cup semi-finals. It's a chance to win our first trophy. Okay, let's not mess things up here. Semi-finals, first leg, Newcastle. Let's get the job done. It's only a draw, but hey, we don't have to release players. Before that second leg against Newcastle, we do have Chelsea and Norwich twice. We get through Norwich. We get through Chelsea as well. Come on, let's keep winning. Let's keep winning. And that's exactly what we've done. All we got to do now is knock out Newcastle from the Carabao Cup and make it to the first final of this video. Can we pull it off? Oh my God. We were so close to releasing a player right here and our treble hopes could have literally been crushed. We get through on penalties and that counts but our next game now is against liverpool and they're probably the team that are going to give us a really tough fight no 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 this is bad i had a feeling it was going to happen liverpool they're just so annoying and that's another l we've taken not gonna lie i think we've been fairly lucky with the players we've been forced to release and is that luck gonna end now let's figure out oh i made it laporte is a bad one because he's a really good center back this ain't good yo laporte is actually 80 seven rated this is painful he's gone the only positive thing is that we've got john stones who's absolutely incredible as well so we should be fine at least for now come on man i really don't want to be losing games before that Carabao cup final we've got which is against liverpool by the way let's get the win against spurs done and even celtic we now have an opportunity to win our first trophy of hopefully three it's the Carabao cup final but we're up against liverpool and they actually ended up beating us the last time we played them so 
I'm nervous. Of course, man. Liverpool are like our unlucky charm. Like, we've lost another game to them and we're gonna have to release another player. The worst thing is it's a final that we've lost. Is our hopes for a treble gone? Thankfully not because we're still alive in the FA Cup, the Champions League, and the Premier League as well. But things have only just gotten more difficult for us now. It's time to find out who is getting booted from the team. Can we please not release a big player? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is one of the worst possible players we could get. Kevin De Bruyne. No. One of City's greatest players ever. And we're going to have to just terminate his contract. No way. KDB. He's gone. We have Gundogan who's going to take his spot, which is great. But if we are forced to release another midfielder, we're going to be absolutely in trouble. We literally can't afford to lose more games. So let's get through the next few games without taking an L. And so far, we've done exactly that. We're still comfortably at the top of the Premier League in the FA Cup semi-finals as well. But in the Champions League, we've drawn Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. This is horrendous. Oh no, this is where we could actually end up releasing a few players. We need to go through regardless to win the treble, so it's all on this. Before all of that, we've got a game against Manchester United. I don't want to be releasing more players, so let's end up winning this. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Neymar Bruh. missed a penalty. Otherwise, we would have survived this game. Not another midfielder. This is the last thing we needed. We're going to have to release Gundogan. Oh. Okay, because Gundogan has just signed a pre-contract with Liverpool, what a traitor. I actually can't release him, so I've literally nerfed him and made him the worst player in the game with a two overall. He's not going to be doing anything for us now. I think the only way we can set up our midfield is by playing Rodri in central midfield and then Calvin Phillips at CDM. But if we are forced to release another midfielder, we're done. We now have two games against Bayern Munich where things could go horribly wrong. We need to somehow survive this. First leg against Bayern, I'm absolutely nervous. We cannot lose no matter what and we somehow get the win. Let's freaking go. Second leg against Bayern Munich and I'd be absolutely delighted with the draw. Just get me through to the semis. I'll be a happy man. Haaland scores the goal. We're so lucky we haven't been forced to release him. Off we go to the semis. Oh no, we've just been hit with the double whammy. We've got Barcelona in the semifinals, which is going to be tough. And right before that, we've just lost against Arsenal 3-0. This literally is the worst time for us to have a player released while we're in the mix of all the big games. And no, 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 no. I just knew it was going to happen. I just knew this was going to happen. Business end of the season. And we're going to have to release Erling Haaland. He's been our top scorer, scoring 29 goals. And now we're not going to have him. I can't believe it's come to this. We're releasing Erling Haaland right before we've got Barcelona. This is brutal. Well, World Cup winner Julian Alvarez, this is your time to shine and save us. Hopefully, Julian Alvarez is amazing. He scored a couple of goals and we're through to the FA Cup final. But now we've got two legs against Barcelona and this is where everything could crumble. But the truth is, if we want to win the treble, we're going to have to beat Barcelona. First leg, what's going to happen? A 2-1 win. Lewandowski missed a pen. Brilliant. All right, guys, let's just secure a cheeky draw. That's all we need to make it to the Champions League final. That, that's literally all we need. And that is what we've done. A draw in the semifinals. We're through to a Champions League final. Guys, we're honestly on the verge of winning the treble. We're top of the league in an FA Cup final against Man United. And we're facing Atleti in the Champions League final. This is it. We might just be able to pull it off. Although we've been forced to release quite a few players, the team is still looking more than capable of getting it done. But of course, we had to suffer a bit of drama towards the end as we took an L to Everton. Like all season long, we've not lost games like this towards the end. Of course we do. Which player is going to get sacrificed this time? Just don't be a midfielder. Oh no, it is It is going to be one. Maybe Alvarez? Nope, it is going to be Bernardo Silva. Our midfield is going to get absolutely crushed now. We're finished, guys. We're literally having to release our best midfielder in the team right now. Bernardo Silva, he's gone. I'm literally confused, guys. We can't be having a 72-rated player in our midfield. We're going to have to think of something else. Okay, guys, maybe if we make this position a cam, put Neymar in there, or actually, Morris can play cam too. Maybe we do that. Yep, that, that works. That solves our midfield problem, at least for now. I think that's what we're going to have to run with. And at least this makeshift solution helped beating Aston Villa in the Premier League. But is it going to be good enough to win the FA Cup against Manchester United? We've already lost the final before. If we lose 
lose this, we're not going to win the treble. Plus, we're going to have to release a player. Our luck is incredibly bad. Look at the stamina on our players, but that's not an excuse. Regardless, we've got to try and beat Man United and win the FA Cup. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Julian Alvarez came through with it. We've won our first trophy. Just two more needed. If we can just get through these next couple of Premier League games without else, we should win the Premier League as well. And that is exactly what we've done. We've won the Premier League with Manchester City in spite of this crazy rule. That's two trophies, just one last remaining. So ultimately, with all the contract terminations, this is the squad we're left with. And I think it's still pretty darn incredible. Just goes to show how good City are. It all comes down to this one game. We've worked hard in spite of these ridiculous rules to win the treble. We're at the final stage. Let's win this Champions League. This is it. Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. Can we win it? Come on. Let's freaking do it. And yes, John Stones ends up scoring the goal. Manchester City have won the Champions League in spite of having to terminate the contracts of Haaland, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, and we've still pulled it off. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy the opposite version of this. But every win, I get to sign one player from the opposition's team. Click here to watch that.